child of god you are born to reign you are born to conquer you been destined to see god's goodness in the land of the living god didn't bring you into this world to be a failure he didn't bring you into this world so that you may struggle he brought you into this world so that you may walk in his faithfulness so that you may walk in his goodness so that you may walk in his love so that you may walk in his power covered by his glory all the days of your life that you stay in planet earth he has promised you so many promises all the promises are alive and powerful for the word of god is alive and powerful but you have to believe it because the bible says if you believe you'll see the glory of god the bible says all things are possible to him that believeth the bible says if you have faith nothing will be impossible to you now if you need to have faith if you need to believe it should come out from your heart because the bible says in mark 11:23 whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall believe in his heart without doubting that what he said will come to pass he shall have what he saith so my dear child of god do you know that you can have what you say if you are going to believe in your heart and when will believing come when you put the word inside your heart and putting the word inside your heart is by receiving the word meditating the word and confessing the word that's why confessing confession has to be an integral part of your life if you don't confess you cannot see god's power there is so much of power in the word of god and that's why we bring before you these confessions these confessions if done sincerely with dedication understanding the power of the word is going to change your life it's going to make you live the way that god wants you to live so i told you you've been chosen to be the incomparable people a people of god people destined to do great things bible says they that know the god will be strong they will do exploits don't you want to be strong don't you want to do exploits so go ahead into these confessions these are going to work miracles in your life these are going to change your life upside down you'll see supernatural breakthrough not only in your life but in your family in your children in your workplace in your business in your health everything that pertains to you you will see god's power manifesting in a way that you have never seen open your mouth and confess with me i'm a new creation I'm born to reign. I'm born to conquer. I'm born to see supernatural power every day in my life. I'm born to experience his great goodness in the land of the living. I'm born to see demons paralyzed, sickness paralyzed, the works of the enemy shattered into billions of pieces. Every hold of the enemy in my life breaks in Jesus name. I decree and declare that I'm freed from every curse. because Jesus Christ became a curse and right now the blessing of Abraham is upon my head and I decree and declare that the blessings of Abraham are operating right now in Jesus name not only in my life but in my children and my workplace wherever I go I see the blessing operating the word declares that the blessing of the Lord maketh one rich he hath no sorrow to it that's what is happening in my life is making me rich in every area of my life I don't see any sorrows because the blessing of the Lord is covering me. Not south east and west all sides I'm surrounded by supernatural blessings. Royalty has deemed and decreed that I should be his son. The king of kings and lord of lords has decreed that I should be a son of God in this earth. That's what I am. And I'm walking about because I'm filled with all the fullness of God. Not of me comes his fullness because I understand the so great love the let and the breadth and the depth and the height of the so great love of God I am able to do certain things which I could never do because I know that I'm standing because of his love because of his grace because of his power by faith I stand and I inherit every promise every word that God has spoken concerning me because of grace through faith And I thank God because he's lifting me up every day. I'm always the head, never the tail. 
I'm always above. I can never be beneath because somebody is lifting me up. And I decree I shall bear fruit. I shall be fat and flourishing in old age. And I'll prove to everybody that my God, who is upholding me and lifting me up and keeping me safe, is upright and there is no unrighteousness in him. And because I dwell in the shadow of the Almighty, I'm covered. He shall cover me all the day long. And I shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. And because I know his name, the Lord will deliver me, will set me on high. And he's always satisfying me with all the goodness of the land. And one of the areas where I'm satisfied is with the long life, as he said in the book of Psalms, chapter 91. Because he's showing me his salvation. I always see salvation. I always see the hand of the Lord moving for me. It's a mighty hand of the Lord. The right hand of the Lord is upholding me, is upholding my family, upholding my business, upholding my child, upholding the child's studies, upholding the brain of my child. My children are a great blessing. He strengthened the bars of my gates. I thank him for that. So nobody can break through the gates because it's strengthened, the bars are strengthened. And he's blessed all my children within me. And I thank God because every child of mine is blessed by the power of God. All my children are taught by the Lord. I thank him because he's teaching my children. Even during these days of lockdown, when everything is online, my God, the Father, is teaching my children. And great shall be the peace of my children. So they are doing and performing beyond their normal IQ because the love of God is working for my children. My children don't become sick because every single cell in the body is healthy and well. It's filled with the power of God. It's filled with resurrection power, which is quickening not only my body, but my children's body. Everybody who's part of my family are experiencing the blessings because I stand in the gap for my family. And I speak on behalf of my family. I say no work of the devil can enter my house. And because I speak, it's happening exactly as I speak. And I know that God is honoring my word. My words of God power. There's creative power in my word. There's life giving power in my word. There's healing power in my word. There is so much of power that it can paralyze every work of the enemy. And that's why no plan of the enemy, not only against me, but against my family, against my money, against my property, against my children, shall succeed or flourish. Everybody who's raising the tongue against me, I will condemn. Because this is the heritage of the Lord. The reward which I get because I do the work of the Lord. I do it faithfully. And I understand the plan of God. I understand the purpose of God. And the word of God is in my heart. I hid it in my heart. Therefore, I don't sin. The word is helping me. It shows me what to do, what not to do. It also teaches my children. I am so full of joy because I have let the word of Christ dwell in my heart richly. And from my heart, the word is coming to my mouth and into my house. And everything that I do is prospering. Life is so exciting. I see the whole earth filled with the goodness of God. I see it crowned with His mercy. And His rich mercy and so great love has literally lifted me. And today I'm seated with Him in the heavenlies, far above all principality and powers. Every name that is named, not only in this world, but in that which is to come. And I've been given the authority to use the name of Jesus and I use the name of Jesus and I see it working for me and I'm so excited because every day is miracle day every day is glory day every day is word experiencing day every day is experiencing the fullness of the power of God day this is what is happening in my life and I'll keep on speaking it and when I speak whatever I speak is saturating the atmosphere the environment where I am moving where I'm living I thank God that He opened my eyes and made me a new creation. He made me the righteousness of God. I'm so excited because I'm here. I'm a joint heir with Christ. And I thank my Father because I know that He's going to take me to be with Him. And I will be with Him in that day rejoicing. I'll be reigning as He promised. There are so many crowns waiting for me because I'm doing what He expects me to do. He will say, well done, good and faithful servant. And what I confess is going to happen because the word is quickening me. My mortal body, my soul does not cleave to the dust because he's revived me. It's because of his revival strength. 
the revival power which comes out of the word that i'm able to hold on to the promises and able to believe what god has said and able to live the life that god wants me to live in this world